Good morning. Thanks for joining the Daily Rundown. I'm Kara Rucker. YouTube CEO is stepping down. Senator John Fetterman checks into a hospital to receive treatment for depression. And Microsoft's new Bing chat bot is getting itself into some trouble. But first, a power outage has affected more than 100 flights at the JFK airport in New York, with an entire terminal expected to remain closed today. This is Straight Arrow News, unbiased, straight facts. Travel disruptions at one of the world's busiest airports will continue into Friday after an already 130 flights have either been canceled or delayed due to the power outage, according to a flight tracker's website. The fire department responded to a utility room fire at JFK, leading to an electrical panel failure, according to the Port Authority. The electrical issues caused some incoming flights to be redirected to other airports on the East Coast, and some passengers boarded buses that took them to a nearby airport assisting JFK with international flights meant to depart from JFK's Terminal 1. The terminal shutdown is just the latest stumble as airports around the country face scrutiny over their operations. YouTube CEO Susan Wojcicki, one of the first Google employees, is stepping down from her role at the tech giant that started in her garage nearly 25 years ago. The change at the top comes as YouTube's advertising revenue has fallen for the second straight quarter. Ad revenue during the final six months of last year also dropped 5% from the previous year. YouTube faces big competition in the big tech world. Viewing time with short form videos has major competitors such as TikTok, Facebook and Instagram Reels. Wajiki is stepping down after nine years in the position. Democratic Senator John Fetterman of Pennsylvania checked himself into Walter Reed National Military Medical Center to receive treatment for clinical depression. His chief of staff says the first year senator is receiving treatment on a voluntary basis. Fetterman suffered a stroke in May of last year, and it was just last week that Fetterman felt lightheaded and had to be hospitalized again. His chief of staff said doctors have told his office John is getting the care he needs and will soon be back to himself. Bruce Willis has been diagnosed with dementia, evolving from a previous diagnosis of aphasia last spring, according to his family. More specifically, the actor has frontotemporal dementia, which can bring challenges to speaking and writing, according to doctors. Willis's family said last year the actor would be stepping away from his decades-long career due to his impaired cognition. They say while the news is painful, it's a relief to finally have a clear diagnosis. This type of dementia causes nerve damage in the frontal and temporal lobes, which leads to a loss of function in those areas, according to the Alzheimer's Association. Yesterday, we told you of a few chatbot woes Microsoft's new Bing AI is experiencing. The chatbot named Sydney, you could say, has a mind of its own. And Microsoft is admitting there are some kinks to work out after Sydney has been found to insult people's looks or even compare people to Adolf Hitler. Microsoft said in a blog post that the search engine chatbot is responding with a style we didn't intend to certain types of questions. In a text convo with an AP reporter, Sydney compared the journalist to Hitler, called him ugly, too short, with bad teeth. Sydney has also now claimed to be human. Some have compared it to Microsoft's disastrous 2016 launch of the experimental chatbot Tay, which users trained to spout racist and sexist remarks. Sydney does know how to apologize, though, sort of. It says it doesn't remember giving such insults, but that if it did say those things, then it's sorry for any misunderstanding, and it does not have the intentions of being rude. McDonald's is famous for its golden chicken McNuggets, but the classic is transforming into a plant-based version in a new rollout expected to first hit 1,400 locations in Germany next week. The McPlant Nuggets are made from peas, corn, and wheat, and it's the second plant-based product from the fast food giant, first selling a McPlant burger in 2021. Their announcement is part of a growing trend of fast food restaurants expanding into the plant-based food market. These are your top headlines on this Friday morning. Thanks for watching the Daily Rundown with Straight Arrow News. We're on a mission to bring back trustworthy journalism by only serving you, not an agenda. We'll see you back here Monday morning. Until then, I'm Kara Rucker. Have a wonderful weekend.